So today I'm going to be getting these pieces of flank steak ready for the grill tomorrow. We're going to make something delicious, but like I like to do the day before is get stuff ready. And I really want the seasoning to have some time with these pieces of flank steak. These are USDA choice flank steak. And the seasoning I'm going to be using is sort of an SPPGC rub. It's got salt, pepper, granulated garlic, smoked paprika, and some chili powder. Now I have a big shaker of it here that I make. And if you want to make a smaller amount of this, I'll give you the ratio here. Two tablespoons of kosher salt, two tablespoons of cracked black pepper, two tablespoons of granulated garlic, one tablespoon of smoked paprika, and one teaspoon of chili powder. Well, let's go ahead and get these pieces of flank steak seasoned up. And as I've said many times, I like to put meat on a raised rack in a baking sheet if it's gonna be in the refrigerator overnight. I just think it works better. It keeps it up off of any juices that sweat out and just allows that seasoning to set better in my experience. Now we're not trying to get this like a heavy coating, like a rub for low and slow cook. This is gonna be more of a direct grill cook Now, for these pieces of meat, I am gonna cover this when it goes in the refrigerator. I'm not gonna leave it uncovered like I would say ribs or a chuck roast or something like that. So these are gonna get covered. They're gonna go in the refrigerator overnight. And tomorrow, before we go out to the grill, we have a couple things to get ready inside, some components for the finished presentation of this flank steak. All right, our flank steak has been soaking in that seasoning overnight in the refrigerator. And in a few minutes, we're going to go outside and grill it up on the Weber kettle using the Santa Maria attachment from the burn shop. Now, I'm not going to do any talking out there. It's just starting to rain. So we're just going to go ahead, get it grilled up quickly. It doesn't take long. Flank steak really doesn't take long. And I'm taking it to 130 degrees internal. That's what I want at the thickest part. That's sort of that medium rare-ish. Other parts, because they're thinner, will probably be cooked a little bit more, but that's just the way it goes. But before we head out there, I want to get a quick pineapple balsamic reduction made. That's going to be a nice sauce to drizzle on our steak. So I have my pan over medium high heat and I'm going to add a quarter cup of pineapple juice and a quarter cup of balsamic vinegar. And we're just going to reduce this down. You could also do it in a saucepan, but I really find that using a shallow skillet like this, a small one, just spreads that heat and helps it reduce more quickly. And we're just going to let this reduce until it's thickened a bit and down to about a third of its original volume. I'm happy with the way the reduction's going. Let's head out to the grill. All right, here is our grilled flank steak. It's been resting for 15 minutes, and I want to slice it up before we put it on a plate and get some of our sauce on it. Let's see. Now, in the flank steak, you can kind of see, even on the surface here, the grain is running this way. I'm going to go across the grain. Oh, yeah. Pink center on flank steak. This is what I want. Let's go ahead and cut some slices here. We're gonna go ahead and plate this up, get some of our sauce on and have a taste. Some of our 
balsamic pineapple reduction on here. And let's throw a few scallions on top to make it look pretty. Nice little pop of green and nice little burst of that scallion oniony flavor. All right, I am going to dive in here. Cheers. Now, it is fantastic with that sauce. This is just amazing, tender, juicy. You can cook it more if you want, but I really think medium rare for flank steak, even on the rare side sometimes, is fantastic. Now, just for those of you who say, never put sauce on meat, which I don't agree with. I think you should do whatever you want to enjoy the food. Here's a piece with nothing on it that I just cut from that other hunk. You don't need anything else, but if you want it, you can enhance it with a sauce like this. But man, flank steak has one of the beefiest flavors for a cut of beef. And when you grill it like I did, where you don't overcook it, it is really hard to make it go wrong. Many times people will use this in something like fajitas and it is fantastic in that. But do not neglect the fact that this is a great steak on its own, whether you put a sauce on it or not. It deserves the chance to live just as a steak on a plate.